Hello, hello. I'm Shelby Cheyenne. I'm a six foot five inch professional basketball player, model, and singer. And I'm so excited to be on the show today. So thank you for having me. You are now listening to the best show in the universe, The Anthony Rogers Show. You probably wish that this was your show, but it's not. It's The Anthony Rogers Show. Tell all of your friends to listen to this show. Ola is a leading CBD brand within the health and lifestyle market. They focus their research on developing premium products for smart and demanding customers who seek to reshape their lives in a happy, healthy, and natural way. They offer a natural and effective aid for everyday life through selection of CBD products, CBD gummies, CBD tinctures, CBD soft gel, CBD warming salve. Go to enjoyolacbd.com, link in the description, and get some CBD. Okay. Welcome back to the greatest show in the entire universe. Um, today we have a huge guest in uh, height this time as well as um, fan base and stature and everything else. Uh, a WNBA player, college basketball player, um, uh, one of the tallest models in the world. Also, um, huge TikTok star also. Uh, Shelby Cheslick, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No problem. That was a long-ass intro, right? <laughs> I loved it. Hey, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You're doing a lot of stuff. So how did you get involved in basketball originally? Like, uh, I guess, like. Yeah, so, well, actually, my mom, she played college basketball at Washington State University. And so she started me and my older sister in basketball when I was, like, four or five years old. And ever since, I've just absolutely loved it. And I said since I started that I wanted to play overseas and I wanted to play WNBA in college. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's really cool. Uh, it's yeah. funny. It's funny too, like seeing you on Instagram in uh, pictures next to people. Like it's like uh, that always like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's like the funniest shit. Cause like you, uh, you're six threes, uh, but that, that's not our six, five. Right. And like, uh, yeah, that's not really that five, tall. Yeah. That's not really that tall. Cause I'm like six foot something. And then like, I see, and then I saw on your TikTok you in heels is seven foot tall. Like if yeah. you weren't, <laughs> that's crazy that's why you look so tall i guess in those pictures right yes and then i mean six foot five for a woman is is different than like a guy right there's a lot of guys who are like six feet six foot two but for a woman to be six five is very rare so i think that's also right. why i look so tall because you don't see a lot of tall women like that and wearing heels making themselves seven feet tall <laughs> i think it's i thought it was awesome i, I reached out immediately for an interview as soon as i as soon as i saw you, you on tiktok like trolling people like about it like yeah. you just <laughs> Like, I was like, I have to have this person on my show immediately. It was like, it was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Like, you're like dwarfing like normal. I, you, are they just like average height or something or what? It was I'm like six foot something, like six foot two or three or something. Like. I mean, most people are like normal height, but then uh, some of the photos, I think one of them, my dad is just loves this photo. There was my, my hairdressers in Turkey. They're like five feet or four something. And they're like, my legs are four feet long. So <laughs> when I'm wearing <laughs> my heels, she was like the same height as my legs and that's so crazy that's some photo that that kills everyone yeah dude that's crazy where are you from originally so i grew up in pullman washington but i was born in colorado but everyone okay. always thinks i'm like from europe uh, i thought I that by your why. voice too no your voice sounds yeah. like that like your accent yeah or they say i have an accent yeah so i don't know i mean even growing up people said i had an accent but ever since i played overseas now even my family's like, no, you have an accent, Shelby. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> you played for a lot of teams. You played for like Hungary and China and a bunch of countries, right? Yeah, I played for China, Greece, Hungary, Spain, um, Australia, and now Turkey. I played last season there, and I re-signed to play with Fenerbahce again this season. Damn, that's that's an that's an awesome career. Like that's crazy. How, how yeah. tall are you? Are you are you way taller in Asia than everywhere else? <laughs> Listen, when I was in China. I mean, people already thought me a lot just because I'm tall and want photos. But in China, yeah, it was all the time. They were so excited because, you know, you don't usually see a, a super tall blonde person walking around. So everyone was stopping us. And yeah, they're all tiny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I don't know why that's so funny. Like, like You're like three inches taller yeah. than me, but you you look like a lot taller than like that. Like, yeah, like, right? <laughs> yeah. And then I saw I, you. Like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> And I saw you with like other like tall models too. That was like a weird, like, I don't know why that was great. I was like, uh, so your, your agency is the world's tallest models. Is that the name of the agency? Yeah. So, uh, 
Ekaterina, she is the owner and she had the record for world's longest leg. She just got passed by a girl, actually an American girl. I'm forgetting her name right now. She's 17. But so she started this company and it's, yeah, world's tallest models. And you have to be, I think as a man, taller than six foot five, I want to say, or six foot eight. And then as a woman taller than six foot two to be in the agency. That's interesting. Like, that was crazy. Like I've never even knew that was like a thing until I saw like, I was like tearing through your Instagram. Like that's like crazy. Yeah. It's, it was cool. She started it because you know, a lot of people, they see someone tall and they're like, Oh, you should be a model. But in fact, the modeling agency world, a lot of them want models to be about five, nine to six foot one so that you're all around the same height. So when you're taller than that, you know, a lot of them don't want to hire you because you're taller than the male models and taller than the other female models. And so she was like, screw that, you know, and started her own modeling agency. That's awesome. That's, that's America right there. Yeah. I, I love that. Like, <laughs> the entrepreneurship. Right. <laughs> you feel any niche in She's America? Like, <laughs> right. She's like, I'm on it. I want this. It's going to happen. So <laughs> It's crazy. You do music too, right? Yeah, I'm also a singer, and I just sang the other night here in Spokane at Brick West with Kyle uh, Richard, and he he's my friend. He sang at The Voice, and he had his two friends from The Voice come, but yeah, I, I like to sing around. I've sang since elementary school as well. That's super ambitious. You have like a lot of cool things going, it sounds like. Um, it's, it, it's good. Uh, how old are you? Are you like young still? Or like, what, how old are you? I'm 28. So I thought you were young. I, yeah, no. I consider young. <laughs> I would too. I, I'm 35, so I would consider 28 young. But you know, it's uh, right. It's young. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. No, it's crazy. It's a lot of stuff. To, I mean, you and you killed it in college. You were setting records in college, weren't you? Yeah, I'm number one all time in block shots at Gonzaga, <laughs> and number two all time in rebounds. And then for the whole West Coast Conference, I'm in the top ten all time in both categories as well. <laughs> That's killer. That's so awesome. Thank yes. you. No yeah. problem. No problem. That's crazy. So where are you playing now? Like, uh... Now I'm playing in Turkey. So the team is called Fenerbahce, and they're one of the biggest European um, franchises actually in the, in the sport industry. So Fenerbahce over there is like a huge name, and uh, they're an amazing, amazing organization. I'm so happy with them. And Turkey, you know, a lot of people think Turkey's scary, and it's like the best country. They're so nice, and everything's beautiful and brand new, like, very different Wait, than what you hear. Is that where you're at right now? Yeah, well, currently I'm uh, in Washington. Oh, I'm okay. home for the summer. I was supposed to go to Australia again. And COVID just, it's been weird with COVID last season. I had to leave Greece early. And then when COVID hit, and then Turkey this season was, I mean, we were getting COVID tested every week before the games. You had to get tested and make sure that you're not positive. And we were uh, in lockdown a lot of the time in Turkey, actually. No, I bet that's crazy. Yeah, that was a crazy year for for anyone, I imagine. So, yeah, uh, it's been crazy. crazy. And then Australia, they're not letting a lot of the foreign players in right now. So, like, I had a team talking with me, and they were like, "Okay, well, I guess we're not allowed to bring you in anymore." So I was just like, "I'm just gonna go home for the summer, you know, hang out and <laughs> go to Turkey in September." <laughs> not a smart plan. A smart plan. So, uh, that's crazy. So, you, uh, is basketball like your main thing then? Is that what like pays your bills and stuff like that? Like, is that like the main job you have? Yeah, basketball is number one. And then I make money off of TikTok um, because of my amount of followers and everything. I'm a creator there, so I get paid per view. And then um, Instagram, I don't get paid for, but I do a lot of work with different tall companies and clothing companies. So I'm working with different brands like TJL Collection and Forever Green and Elevated Closet and Long Tall Sally. They all send me things to represent them and show off clothing for tall women. That's awesome. I, I, I have the same thing with my podcast. I, I, I could be like less talented than you and still get free, get, get all the perks. Still like, <laughs> so, hey, you get all the perks. Hey, that's all that matters. You get the perks. <laughs> right, right. I don't even have to be talented or anything. I, um, so do you just straight destroy people at basketball in like daily life? Like, do you, if you play like a one-on-one -on -one game with somebody, do you just straight fucking destroy them? Well, the thing is, like, I'm so everyone's always like, let's play one on one, and I'm like, I just can't take it serious. Like, <laughs> if you're not, if you're not a real like basketball player like and you want to play one-on-one -on -one, like i'm just doing it for fun you know i can't just be out there like crushing spirits but i love to block people so you know like <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious I made, a, I made a youtube video uh with one of my friend's wives and she's i think like five five so she just looked tiny compared to me and the whole video is me just like blocking her you know 
too. That's hilarious. Yeah. So are you like average height for a basketball player though? Like like six five is like probably about average height in men's, I guess, like right? No, so for a female basketball player, I'm like always one of the tallest at six foot five. That's uh, hilarious. Usually I mean there's like not I mean, I'm like in the top like point five percentile of height for women. There's only been like I've met Brittany Griner, Jennifer something. And that's really oh, and then Ekaterina, obviously. But other than that, like no one's really usually taller than me. Like six <laughs> foot five is is giant, you know. <laughs> so like, no, like for not. men, that's that's like the point guard size. But but for us, it's literally I'm the center always, like the power forward center. That's crazy. And like like I'm like I'm like six two, so most people aren't even in, as tall as me, like in real life. Like most people are like probably down to here and stuff. Yeah, like, in daily life, I mean, exactly not really. right but, in daily life. It's yeah. weird, like, you go from your basketball world where you're around all these other tall people, and then I come home, and I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be slouching all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, my, my uncle was just visiting, and I'm always wearing my heels, you know, and he's like, he's tall. He's, like, six tall, like six feet tall, but I just tower over him in my heels, and he's like, you can't wear them anymore. you got to wear sandals. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but my sandals have platforms, too, so. <laughs> uh -huh. That's <laughs> Always, hilarious. always adding. Yeah. No, I like how you just go with it. I like how you go with it. A lot, a lot of people would be like freaked out being that tall, probably. But I, but I think it's like I, you just go yeah. with it. It's cool. I like the energy with it. Yeah, a a, thank you. There's a lot of people who don't like, you know, or have problem or struggle with being tall. But I love it. You know, I I love it so much, and I have no problem. I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'll be seven feet tall for the day. You know. <laughs> yeah, and you answer anything too. Like there's no like you're just like authentic. Like you're yourself. I can tell just like your vibe. Like. That's good. Like, I don't, I don't typically oh, like people you. taller than me. Like, oh, no problem. Typically, I don't like people taller than me when I'm around. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to it. Like, I'm not, <laughs> so, so I'll see people taller and I'll, I'll immediately, if it's a guy, I'll immediately want to, like, instinctually, it just makes you want to fight him or something. Like, it's, I don't <laughs> act on that because I'm, like, old and stuff. But my instincts yeah, are like, that's so true. They're like, fuck yeah, that tall like person. All the, yes. All, so, oh, my God. All the men in our family are so tall, right? Like, 6'8", six, 6'5". Six, and they're oh, like, crazy. people always want to fight us. People always want to fight us at the bar. Like, they just see them and they're just like, hey, like, <laughs> for no reason. And I'm like, it's because you're tall. That's literally why, you know? It's instinct. Like, it's like, it's like <laughs> thousands of years of instinct. Yeah, it is. Like, you see them and you're like, nah, I'm, I'm better. I'm, I might be short, but I'm still tall, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you just want to knock them out immediately or I'll, like, ask them how tall they are. Yeah. I have to, like, ask them how, I have to, like, size them up immediately. I'm like, I'm like, how tall? Like, how tall are you? Like, yeah, you're like, mm, let me let's check this. Let's get back to back real quick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Is it weird check for it you out. seeing somebody tall? Is did you do you experience people taller than you? Is that weird? Um, it's very rare. And my cousin <laughs> from Michigan was just here, and he's like six six, so he's just barely taller than me. And I hated it. I was like, what? <laughs> like, how are you taller than me? So then I was wearing my heels. I was like, nah, Garrett, I'm taller this weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's like a superpower. <laughs> It's like a, like being taller than everyone is like a superpower. You could do anything, but then yeah. everybody just asks you to grab shit. They're always like, does everybody just ask you to grab shit off shelves and stuff? Like, yeah, people ask me to help them at the grocery store or like randomly all the time. Like even like if I'm just walking around, people will be like, hey, can I take a photo with you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know why not? Just because like we're so tall. <laughs> that's crazy. I like how, yeah, I like how you just go with yeah. that. That's awesome. Like being yourself, like. That's what it's about, really. And, like, your TikTok following is crazy. I didn't realize that when I first reached out to you, like, how many people you had on TikTok. I'm like, oh, you're, like, 200-something thousand. You almost have, like, 300,000 people on TikTok. That's crazy. Yeah. And it all started last summer because, so, the ceilings in my house are only, like, seven feet tall. So, when I wear my heels inside, <laughs> my head is, like, hitting the ceiling, you know? <laughs> and all I'm doing is I'm just standing there showing my this dress I bought for my birthday. And everyone was like, oh, my God. Like, where are you living? How are you touching the ceiling with your head, you know? And so ever since this video, like, I get all my followers and they just love my tall TikToks and I love to make them. So it's been fun. Yeah, my favorite ones of yours are just, like, making fun of people. Like, you just, like, you, like, just, <laughs> yeah. you, you do, like, duet roast people, basically. Yeah, because there's always people talking crap and stuff. But I'm like, listen, buddy, like, before you spout some shit, like, let's have a little chat and let's, let's have some facts thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> no it's hilarious like that's how i found that's how i found you originally like I, and then i, I heard the backs from like oh my god this is like the best this would be like the best interview of all time i was just like it's so, you do so much <laughs> shit it's crazy like do you do you yeah, ever sleep crazy. like do you sleep at all like i don't my family they're like you're like a tornado in your home because like i'm just like i'm here then i go with here over with my friends and then i'm performing here and then i'm doing a shoot over here and then I'm, you know they're like you're just like all over the place always and i'm high energy person so i'm i'm ready all the time 
This show is possible because of sponsors like Siempre Tequila. Um, it's a good sipping tequila, good mixing for margaritas. Um, link in the description. Buy some right now. That's awesome. I'm, I'm like the opposite. I'll do like a couple of things a day, but they really matter. They really make money, you know. Like the, re- like the rest of us sleep all day. I'd sleep forever if I did, like if I if I could, you know. Yeah, you would just like a little like just want to yeah. hibernate all day, hang out at the house. Just turn on the <laughs> air to like sixty and just like sleep all forever. <laughs> that's my that's my dream no but it's crazy seeing how much like uh it's crazy seeing how much you've done like such a short amount of time it's 20 years isn't that that's not that, that long on earth really and a lot of that's like prepping and school and stuff you know so it's like right that's crazy to think about like i'm interested in seeing what you do with like your like you could blow up as a movie star with your following you i mean i mean you could blow up as like there's so many different avenues for a person like you you know with um Thank like that, you. that has like a personality plus like a, a couple interesting things about him plus a huge fan base you know it's like that's like a lot of right. that's like a that's like a lot. You should, have you thought about getting into movies and stuff? I would actually love to. I did a lot of acting when I was younger. My sister and I were in plays all the time. And, you know, I memorized things very easily. And so I would love to be in acting and do weird things and be a tall person. So <laughs> I would enjoy it. That'd be crazy. You'd be like a, like a crazy villain or something. I don't know. Or, or you'd just be a person. Right. Or you'd just be a person. Ooh. Depends on how you angle it. You'd be a crazy villain. Right. or like just, Yeah. That's crazy to think about. It's like, no, the fan base like that. I mean, I, I, I would, I, anybody making movies that would be, has to be annoying you by now. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, this, per, this person has like, you have the qualities. It's crazy. And I just came across that like Ooh. scrolling mindlessly over an app that I, I barely like, you know? <laughs> yeah, look what came from it. And I didn't yeah. even want to make a TikTok. My friend was like, you should make a TikTok. And I was like, I mean, okay. And so I've only had it a year and a half. And yeah, because I made it last, last like, april or june or something when i was in greece yes yeah, so a year and a half ago i made it and now it's already blowing up so i mean i love tiktok it's so funny you find like the most random videos on there yeah it dictates culture right now even like like most uh most of the songs like they're on the billboard that like, came from tiktok like 40 percent of them right now it's like that's not right. most but, I mean, that's still a lot but still it's it's a ton and it's like i think there was even a commercial that they used like from some stuff they'd seen on a tiktok and it's just crazy like it starts trending and it can just blow up immediately and everyone knows it and start saying whatever it is from that tiktok it's crazy have you seen those dancers like that's what's on my tiktok mostly it's like dancers that like move like oh yeah all the dancers yeah those are like like these people like they move like weird to like rap music like three of them sometimes two of them sometimes they're like these like i don't know how to call it dance it's like expert dancing not just like I don't know. It's fucking good though. <laughs> Not like, just I, TikTok dancing, like legit dancing. Yeah, right? like they're yeah, they're like they're actual dancers mm-hmm. on TikTok. I feel like it's like this girl with like blue eyes and this dude with like long hair, and they'll dance like all the fuck. I don't know. They're like the I don't know how to describe it. That's like the most captivating shit. I'll watch that shit forever for some reason. Yeah, dancers. I love watching people that can dance and like really dance. Not just do like the basic kind of stuff, but like what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, it's captivating. It's so yeah. mesmerizing. Yeah, I never thought that would be. You know, I used to read before TikTok. You know. I used to read, read <laughs> and now you're like spend like four hours on tiktok just scrolling like <laughs> yeah my brain's like turning to mush like basically yeah <laughs> seriously what, though <laughs> what are your like uh, goals from like the future like where do you see yourself like um I, it's a cheesy ass question but with someone like with a lot going on it's interesting probably the answer like where do you see yourself in the future like where, what are your next couple goals i guess like well, I would love to get back to the WNBA, and I actually was offered this season while I was in Finnerbache to come, but we were in playoffs at the time, and there were so many delays due to COVID that our season was pushed back, and we ended later than we normally would. So I didn't get to go back to Phoenix Mercury this season, but I would really love to go that, like back there. And then goal-wise, I would also really like to have my own band to sing around um, – and do local venues and things like that because I truly love singing. And now that, you know, I like the movie star thing. I'm like, hey, maybe I really should like look into this because I would love to do some acting as well. But anything really, I'm, I'm up for everything, you know? So wherever the world takes me. That's awesome. Let's write a movie immediately. Like, start, like yeah, I think we could push this you immediately. Got it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just well, write let's a go. You can be my, you can be my agent. You got it. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the ironic words when you're like a millionaire later you know, and you just said that on a podcast as a joke you're like, 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 you're like, like yeah you can be my agent you're gonna be like some fucking you got like 500 million dollars or something i'm like i'm like i should have fucking took that lady up on her agent right. offer I yeah that was your, t- your moment to shine and like in 10 years i'm gonna be like oh yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna play that back to you like when you're when you're a millionaire yeah <laughs> if you're not already oh i don't fucking God. know your finances i don't know anybody's finances <laughs> 
But um, you look more professional than I do. I feel like I got, I got like, it's like this like fake beach behind me, and you look like a, I'm loving the beach. You look like you're mid break. Like, you're just like a, you're at a spa or some shit, like mid break or something. I'm uh, I'm at the Davenport in Spokane, so it's pretty cute and fancy. Just it's hanging crazy. out, you know. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I'll just go downstairs. My mom and sister are upstairs. We're gonna go eat. Um, my sister's visiting from Seattle and her husband, so I'm gonna take them around Spokane later and show them how exciting it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice it's nice i've been to washington before i I've been there a couple times so i don't know why i told you that Ooh, really so where true. have you been in washington i i did a venue called the i don't remember the venue it's like pink it's like this pink venue in seattle i died i did a uh, comedy show there and then i did uh and then i did oh, a, just a pink door uh i don't know the name right now it was, it was like 2014 uh i did like a comedy show there yeah. it was like and then I uh, did a farmer's market, like a cannabis farmer's market, like show it, like that was the first show I've ever, like ever did out there. It was like, really? uh, it was like, there's like just tables full of like weed. And I feel like I'm gonna like get attacked by the, like the feds are going to come in any fucking moment. Like, sort of, <laughs> then I'm like having no, to do Seattle, a comedy show. Seattle's very friendly with the weed. Like Seattle, Spokane, Washington in general is like, yep, weed's good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I came there like 2014 or something like that, like from Missouri, which isn't that cool, but with weed, like, especially, <laughs> especially back then like then i mean now it's like whatever but like back then it was like fucking crazy oh, yeah. seeing how much weird it was like 2011 no, 2014 right. no it was 2014 yeah, that would have been right around the time when legal i think yeah probably like when it first happened yeah i bet that was weird and you're like wait is this cool like am i okay <laughs> here <laughs> yeah my name's like my name's like on something with like just a bunch of weed everywhere i'm like oh my god, oh my like, god. i'm like the fucking feds are gonna come in here at any moment like i'm like jesus christ yeah like it's a trap they're like yeah bring in all the weed people like let's go <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're, we're, yeah it's what it f- fucking looked like like for to me from where i'm from i don't know everything went fine though i don't know like i don't know this is a Still crazy, it, yeah. Seattle's its yeah. own, or, uh, or Seattle's its own thing. Like Washington's just a beautiful place. Like you know, like Hendrix's yeah, grave. I like think it? it was okay. Yeah, yeah. I, it was it was pretty cool. Like the, um, I'm like I'm like I'm a Republican, so like major cities kind of just annoy me with the people more so. But like, I, but outside of that, like it was really cool. Like outside of like, like outside of basic, if you don't talk politics with people, it's it's, it's a pretty good place, you know. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And Seattle for sure. Like I'm sure it's just it's an adventure there anyways but it's it's a really cool city I, like having the mountain and the water and the trees and everything there i think it's like a really beautiful city just too populated though for me as well yeah i, I like the country I, I like living in like uh like i i uh, i don't know i like the middle of nowhere I, i'm from like have you been to st louis no that's what i was gonna ask you so like where <laughs> are you not, located <laughs> <it's> not, <laughs> i just wonder how many people have been to st louis i always have to ask it but no uh is i'm in the, i'm in missouri but uh i'm not there i'm not in st louis right now i'm like in the suburbs right now but i i'm primarily oh, in, nice. either in st louis or the country but i record like we're in the suburbs where i have way better internet so oh yeah yeah i bet the internet's better for sure because it <laughs> yeah. can get a little it can get a little wonky out in the country and i like even here in Washington, there's so many dead spots. Like when you're driving, because it's just so many fields, you know. Yeah, like a, I can't listen to fucking Beatles right now because, like, you know, <laughs> I can't hear the Beatles for right. the four thousandth time. Yeah. For five seconds. Always the same for five seconds. Yeah. That's crazy. No, you've done a lot of stuff. Like that's crazy. That's crazy to think about where you can go with this. Like, um, and like. I, like, I, like one of you, you take one thing you've done and it like, and it'd be like a career. It'd be like someone's dream, you know, but like the, like the doing all these, <laughs> it's just really interesting. Like, you know, like you take like basketball, you take TikTok, you take modeling, you take any, any one of these things and be like, it'd be like, that'd be like one person's dream, you know? <laughs> thank you. You're like hyping me up. It makes, I'm like, yes, thank you. Thank you. Making me feel all special. <laughs> that's funny. You're humble. That's, that's still humble. I can tell you, uh, you won't be humble in five years. Probably like, <laughs> no oh my gosh i I would never want to be someone that's like thinks there's some amazing thing because of whatever you know i i'm never like that i'm just like i'm this tall person this is who i am this is what i do so (laughs) pretend to be arrogant can be funny but if you actually believe it you're kind of delusional probably right yeah it's it's funny funny. when you're being sarcastic and stuff like sometimes i do that with my family but if you're actually like that it's cringy and unpleasant and no one wants to be around you so <laughs> yeah for sure that's a, that's a great way to put it i think you summed it up pretty well well um do you want to throw any like social media or any kind of like things you want people to like like pay attention to that you're doing right now or i mean i would love anyone to check out my tiktoks and then i always like to take suggestions so sometimes like my family or friends will send me videos like hey you should duet this or stitch this so i'm always down for that if you have any suggestions too is there anything that i should make on tiktok 
I don't want to get you fired, but I don't want to get you fired from any organization you work with. But your ro- your duet roasts are the fucking best. Like those are, I, in my opinion, like if you just if you just keep responding to people roasting them, like that's like for my I'm a comedian, so that's like my favorite. I love seeing that shit. But but uh, but it's yeah. all. But I don't want to get you like fired from like anywhere like like in like two years like Pepsi drops you for some dumb joke you made on TikTok. You know? <laughs> right, and you know, and for my team in Fenerbahce in Turkey. I actually had to take two photos down um, on my Instagram just because they were a little bit more revealing. And I was in a swimsuit, but it was just like, you know, because I'm working with some younger girls too. They were, and it's a little bit more of a conservative country. So I was like, yeah, no problem. But stuff like that, you just have to kind of take into account and always be aware of like what I'm posting and things. Especially internationally. No, internationally. Yeah, because every country is different, you know. No, you're right. Yeah, that's a that's a strict like Muslim country though. Like, like if you're showing more than your eyes, you're like a harlot to them. <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's beautiful there, but yeah, like you know, it's just something you think about because every country is so different, and a lot of them, you know, it's not like like in, when I went to Egypt. Actually, this is a crazy story. I went to Egypt and visited my friend. She was playing there, and she was like, we were both wearing. I was wearing like a skirt to my knees and um, a long t-shirt to my elbows. And I felt, we both felt like so exposed because everyone is, whether or not they're Muslim, they're wearing pants, long sleeve, completely covered. And then a lot of people are wearing the full wraps and stuff. And so we were like, geez, we're, we are harlots out here wearing like nothing, you know? Yeah. (laughs) And of course in America, that's like super covered. You know, you see people just wandering around all the time and almost nothing. So it's always an adventure. (laughs) Yeah, that's conservative here, like wearing nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, like, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can wear whatever, and people are like, yeah, that's fine, you know? <laughs> Which I like. I think that's cool, though, and no, I do think it's cool. But I, like, Turkey seems beautiful, and my family's from, like, over there originally. Like, yeah, like not Turkey, but, like, like Jordan and stuff, like the same area, you know? Really? Yeah, yeah. Jordan. I've always wanted to visit Jordan. Me, too. Me too. It sounds beautiful. I don't. I, I apparently wouldn't want to live there because my ancestors left, but uh, <laughs> I would want to check it out, I guess, you know? <laughs> I feel like yeah, maybe go for a quick visit or something. Yeah, like three days to a week or something. You know, it seems beautiful. Yeah, you, can, what? you can come hang out with me in Turkey and then hop over to hop over to Jordan. You'll never get rid of me if you say that. Like I'll, I'll travel. <laughs> <laughs> right, then you're just like, and I'm here now forever. For, forever, yeah. I'm like permanent fi- a permanent fixture in Turkey. <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah. Do they smoke a lot of hookahs there? Just here, like, there's all my friends from that area. Like, all smoke oh. hella hookahs. It is a ton of hookah, especially anywhere in Europe, there's a ton of hookahs, but I would say, you know, Turkey, Greece, big hookah smokers, you know, that's like what you do. You smoke hookah, you go out to the club or for coffee or something. That's what you're doing. Yeah. They don't, do they drink in Turkey? They do. Yeah. They drink in Turkey. I think you can't, like, sometimes there's things about alcohol, like you can't buy it at certain times and like from the grocery store, you can't buy it on the weekends or Sunday or something. And but yeah, it's not really a problem. You can go out to the club and get it if you wanted to, and different things like that. No, I was just wondering. A lot of those countries are kind of strict, but yeah, no, it seems it seems all beautiful over there. They're like, I just wouldn't. Yeah, I just, I'd like to, I'd like to see it eventually. I haven't seen most of it at all. Like to be honest, I haven't seen any of that shit. But it sounds awesome though. Yeah, yeah. Every country is like so beautiful and has its own thing that makes it so cool, you know. And it's fun meeting people from every country. I would say, honestly, the Turkish people are the nicest and most generous and just super thoughtful. And yeah, it's like, I loved it there. I love they're, Turkey. They're just nice because they're huge. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, ma'am. Like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, they see me, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> don't destroy me. No, I'm just <laughs> Listen, in Greece, I would say Greece and China actually are the two that I'm like the tallest. I mean, even Turkey, but in Greece, I'd be on the bus and all the little grandmas are like this tall. And That's I would be like, I'm oh, sorry, like, pardon me. And on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> like, trying not to run them over. I'm like, sorry, little grandmas. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so, that would be hilarious seeing that. Like that should be like a fucking documentary. So people just like people should just follow you around like that, like as a documentary. Like, yeah. Compare heights and just and to public. see me like. Yeah, it would actually be a very that. See, maybe that's how I started in the movie industry. Somebody can document being a giant in Europe and a, going a to different countries. <laughs> Dude, that would be hilarious. A day in the life of yeah. Oh yeah. no, my, like, that's a great idea. 
You're uh, giving I'll... me all the ideas over here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's entrapment. We're recording all of them. <laughs> yeah, right? You're going to be like, wait, wait a second. That was my idea. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you just do the work and I can sue you. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I get all the royalties and stuff, all the money from it. I'm like, great movie, great movie. Great. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, that would be crazy though. Like, um, but yeah, I feel like you have, uh, you have like dinner plans, right? Like, so we got to uh, wrap this up, I think. Like, so uh, follow around, right. Inst- uh, follow Shelby on Instagram, TikTok. I'll put some links in the description for people listening on audio. And if, if you're watching in video, like I'll do the same thing. I don't know why I'd separate it. Yeah, perfect. But- hey, this episode is brought to you by the Selfie Room, downtown St. Louis, Wash Ave. The Selfie Room is a photo studio specifically designed for the public to get fun photos. They're located, again, in downtown St. Louis, uh, 19 Exhibits. Um, basically really good photos. If you're out for a fun afternoon, I don't know, a date or something like that. Like I took my girlfriend there. It was really cool. Um, but, uh, photo shoots, video shoots, bloggers, influencers, or if you're looking for something to do while you're downtown or you're traveling to St. Louis and you want to check it out, um, bring your friends, uh, bring your family, bring whatever, bring your own camera though, for sure. Um, but they have tripods and Bluetooth remotes you can rent if you need to, um, you don't have someone to take your photo there. Um, reservations are required. So check out the selfie room.com, Instagram, selfie room, St. Louis. Mention this podcast and get $5 off. Do it.